Quentin Tarantino is experiencing something that usually only happens in his movies. His classic car, which was stolen from the set of Pulp Fiction, has reportedly been found after 19 years. CBS 2's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is live now to tell us where it was finally found. Suzanne. Pat, this is really an incredible story. Now, um, sheriff's deputies aren't talking on camera tonight, but to tell the Daily News that an arrest made down in Victorville led them all the way up to Oakland, which traced them back to a Hollywood driveway, more specifically Quentin Tarantino's driveway, and a car stolen, a very famous one, two decades ago. I mean, don't with another man. See, if you don't do it, just against the rules. Someone didn't just break the rules, he broke the law 19 years ago stealing the 1965 red Chevy from Quentin Tarantino's driveway, the same one featured in Pulp Fiction. Come on, man, let's go get a steak. You can get a steak here, Daddy Al. Don't be a... Oh, after you, kitty cat. Cops arrested a Victorville man for classic car auto theft on Tuesday after he was caught stripping a car with a VIN that matched another car up in Oakland, which turned out to be the Pulp Fiction Chevy. Getting it back after 17 years is, is amazing. Most cars, if they're gone within a week, they're gone. You're never going to get it back. When you lose something like that, it's like losing a family member, so it's pretty great to recover that. The Chevy owners at the Birdman Classic Car Show at Bob's Big Boy remember the car from that 1994 film. The front end looks almost the same. Johnny Canoe of Santa Clarita prides himself on having a Chevy similar to Tarantino's and says the chance of getting back a stolen car like that, one in a million. That's amazing. It had a slingshot, a big, long rubber band on it. The guy who was driving the Pulp Fiction Chevy won't be charged. He's believed to be the victim of fraud. In fact, no one will probably be arrested because the statute of limitations on auto theft has long since run out. <laughs> Now, we've reached out, but no word yet on whether or not Quentin even knows that his car has been recovered, which is so Hollywood as well. Reporting live in Burbank, I'm Suzanne Marquez. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.